Hi, I'm Julie Duell and you're watching Spotlight on Sparks. I have Mayor Pro Tem Ed Lawson here today and I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on in our community. There's a lot going on with COVID-19, the coronavirus, and we were recently at a press conference and you said some really inspiring things. So I kind of wanted to see if maybe you had some positive words that we could really share with our community today. This is the time when you gotta come together as a community for your neighbors, for your family, and, and help those folks out that you can help, but also uh, help to uh, keep the social distancing so we can slow the spread of this. Right, so we're really encouraging that even in our public meetings and things like that. And I know that, um, you know, a lot of people I think right now are just, they're just afraid. And so I was just trying to think of some positive things. And the other day, and I would even love for you, you wrote these yourself, these comments. And I, did. I absolutely loved these. And I thought maybe you could read through them again. And just, just as a reminder of what we're really trying to encourage people to do. Sure. I, I kind of went back to some of my uh, old sales training that I've had in, in years past. And, and one of the books I read was about choosing your attitude. When you get up every morning, you get to choose what you're gonna do. You can approach the day as, a, as the worst day in your life or the best day in your life. So I'm, I'm just asking our citizens to choose your attitude today, to be positive, to choose empathy over selfishness, to choose ethics over unfairness, to choose logic over lunacy, to be inclusive over being thoughtless, and choose love over hate, choose charitable over callous, and choose to be a leader. So every one of our citizens are a leader in some aspect of their life, and we're just asking you to be a leader today. And good leaders know when is the time to lead and when is the time to follow. Right now is the time to follow. Let's follow what the governors put down for us, what the federal government's put down for us, and follow those guidelines so that we make sure that we can slow the progression of this disease. In the coming weeks, obviously, we're gonna need your leadership skills because everything that just got shut down is gonna have to ramp back up and there's gonna be a lot of work that's is gonna be required. So uh, now is the time to uh, sit back, enjoy your time off if you have that time off, and be ready to be productive and be positive. You know, and I was thinking too, you know, during this time, there's going to be a lot of people that are, you know, not being able to work right now. And I've seen so many positive stories about dropping off groceries at, you know, your, maybe your elderly neighbor's house or just reaching out via phone and saying, hey, how you doing? So any suggestions like that, I just really like to get out to people to, to help your neighbor right now, to help those in need. Yeah, I can see it in our cul-de-sac. It was kind of fun to watch on a Saturday. It was a nice day out, and, and the lady across the street had her and her two kids out doing some side work art, and the cul-de-sac kind of came out and watched, and I have some elderly folks next to us that my wife had brought home some food from the Atlantis Casino. We shared with them, and we shared with some of our other neighbors some of the extra food. So uh, yeah, I think just these little things, I think is what really makes a community. And that's the one thing I'm most proud of of our citizens in Sparks, is we know that we're a community and we, we wanna be a, a family oriented community. And, and I think we do it and we show it every day. Great, well thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on and just giving us some good tips on staying positive and really helping others out during this time. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. My next guest is Michael Drinkwater. He is our treatment plant manager. And Michael, one of the things with this COVID-19 going around, we wanted to talk about um, flushable wipes. We're practicing social distancing even here on the set, and uh, we probably need to do that no matter what we're doing, right? Absolutely. Unfortunately, these wipes that we're talking about, they don't practice social distancing in the pipes. Once one of them hangs up on a tree root, for example, others tend to stick to it very easily and then they create large balls which can create uh, wastewater overflows or blockages in the pipe. While they are flushable, they're not, they don't degrade like toilet paper does. If everyone knows toilet paper, if you put it in water, it dissolves almost instantly, which is fine for us because that doesn't create a problem in the collection system or at the treatment plant. The wipes, on the other hand, do not dissolve. They are robust. They last for a very long time. So it's really, you know, it's things we don't necessarily want to talk about, and it's a little uncomfortable to talk about, but 
like I said, they do say flushable on them, but really the recommendation is no, please, because this does go to our, it has to travel all the way through these pipes and get to our sewage treatment plant, and we really want to keep those, those pipes clean for the safety of everybody, right? Exactly. As well as that, if they do travel through the pipes to the plant, it does create a similar problem for us at the, the facility. It's a large mechanical uh, facility with pumps and blowers and valves and pipes and whatnot, and all these are places for those rags once again to collect and create interferences with the water flow, which makes our job harder. So we'd greatly appreciate it if, if you use wipes, and they are fantastic wipes, I use them, but throw them away, don't flush them. Okay, okay, so just throw them away, use toilet paper. Other than that, that's probably the biggest message that we can get to. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Michael, I appreciate it. No problem. And we know in the community that we're all going through this together, and so we wish that you would just be positive, keep a good mindset, and help your neighbors if you can. Thank you.